Hey you guys, I'm going to go ahead and make this video. Uh, some people requested that I go over this problem. We did do it in class, uh, but for those that weren't in class or that need just to look at it again, I hope that you find this helpful. Alright, so let's read the problem first. Data on tuition and mid-career salary are collected from a number of universities and colleges. The result of the data collection is the linear regression model, which is given here, where x is the annual tuition, f of x, or y, is the average mid-career salary of graduates, both in thousands of dollars. According to this model, what is the average salary for a graduate of a college or university where the annual tuition is 72000 All right, to answer this question, we need to look first at what, it, what this 72000 is, okay? So, 72000 we can see from the wording there, is the annual tuition. And X is annual tuition. What did it ask for? Well, it asked for what is the average salary, which is F of X, the average salary. So we're just solving for this F of X in the equation. So I've written, rewritten the equation up here, except for notice, uh, instead of X, I have this 72, and I should replace it here as well. So f of 72 equals negative 0 0.89 times 72 plus 164. So using the order of operations to solve this, negative 0 0.89 times 72 is negative 64.08. If you're confused by that, go ahead and just type it into a calculator. And from there, we'll just add that 164. And that gives us... 99.92. Now remember, uh, and, and hopefully guys, I, I think I missed this, but the 72 was 72,000, and it told us up here, right here, that both are in thousands of dollars, so that's why it's a 72 and not a 72,000, okay? So that means also that this is in thousands. So to find out that number. Some of you guys know you just move the decimal. Others of you would want to actually multiply that by a thousand. Both of the, uh, those are correct if we multiply this. Okay, so 99.92 times 1,000, 99,920 in dollars. This would be the average salary based on the problem. The average sal salary for a college a graduate of a college or university where the tuition was 72 grand. The final uh, part of this problem is just finding the slope of this regression model, which is right here. It's the coefficient of x, which is also shown in the equation there. So it's just a negative 0 0.89. Uh, if, since that's also in thousands, you could say that it's a negative 890. Uh, what that means is that, uh, for example, if it was, I guess, zero, that uh, for each thousand dollars, it's going to go down, uh, the average salary will go down $890, but uh, I'm not really sure if that's what it was going for, but that is certainly the slope. If it asks for rate of change, we would label that negative eight hundred ninety dollars per thousand dollars of tuition alright and that solves that problem